Hi guys, my name is Taylor Vashero. I am a double major in human nutrition, foods, and exercise, as well as agricultural sciences. So my background and what I'm going to talk to you today is about um, exercise, and I am a cycling instructor, which is why my demonstration will be how to set up an indoor cycling bike. Um, before we begin, I will let you know that by the end of this discussion, you'll be able to properly set up your own cycling bike um, and to be able to explain the reasons for exercising on a regular basis. So has anyone in here been to a cycling class or used indoor cycling bike just by showing hands? Nobody was perfect. One. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Um, psych er, exercising in general isn't something that I think many people realize that it is. So for example, my mom says, oh, I never exercise, but I'm like, mom, you go on walks all the time. That's exercise. For some people, it's gardening. For some people, it's hunting. For some people, it's yoga or cycling. Whatever it may be, uh, recognizing that that is a form of exercise and that that is something that you can do regularly is crucial because a lot of people are deterred. They're like, oh, I don't like running. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to go to the gym. That's fine. But once it gets cold outside, you might want to evaluate your options. So if you've never been to a cycling class or you've never even used an indoor cycling bike or been on a real bike, this is a great opportunity to expand your horizons and learn about different ways to exercise. So exercising is really important, as you've all heard a million times, but why? Because mentally it helps you with stress, helps you with your memory, releases hormones like um, uh, endorphins when you're exercising to make you happier and more positive outlook, etc. Um, throughout your physical body, it helps to prevent injuries. It's the whole use it or lose it kind of mindset as you get older. It helps you with your bone density. On a cellular level, it's so much research is behind how exercise can be so beneficial to you in a lifelong sense. So today, like I said, we'll be learning how to set up a cycling bike because a big part about exercise and um, why people, I think, are hesitant to use such equipment is because they're like, I don't know. I don't know how to use it. I don't want to you know, make a fool of myself. I don't want to hurt myself. So it's really important just to take the time to either be taught by someone who does know or to look it up online. Um, so this will be your demonstration. So first, I will demonstrate um, like with myself, how to set up the bike. And then I will ask for a volunteer. So with this bike, there are three main areas that you have to adjust for yourself. So obviously this is not going to be a good fit for me. This seat is way too low. If I got in this seat right here, I look like a fool. And <laughs> I, can't, I can't do anything, this hurts. Um, so what you wanna do first is adjust the height of the seat. So um, right here, this back part, we're going to move up to where your hips are. So if you were to stand next to the bike and put your leg up like this, you want it to be parallel with the height of your thigh. So I'll put it where I know it works for me. And then standing next to it, it is at my hips. So what I oftentimes say in my class to my participants is that if you get on the bike and it's too low, like I just demonstrated, your legs will not go anywhere and it'll be a pain to cycle. Um, if it's too high, you'll feel like you're being pulled out of the saddle because your seat, your legs can't fully extend without leaning from side to side. So for my volunteers, whoever that may be, keep that in mind. This height works for me. Then we have the seat distance um, kind of going forward and backwards to the handlebars. Uh, this is set up according to when you're on the cycling bike, you need the, um, you need your knee to be directly over where your shoelaces would be when it is down all the way. So right here, it's a little bit too forward. My knee is kind of over my toes, right? This is where we're going to have two volunteers and we're going to have the second person watch the first person and say, hey, maybe you should move the seat forward or back accordingly. A lot of people don't think to adjust their seat, and that's a pretty big mistake because it can end up putting pressure on your knees and your joints in incorrect places. So I'm going to move it, if it'll let me. Ooh. 
I'm not going to move it. <laughs> We're going to pretend like I'm moving it. Um, so for me at least, I usually put mine at four, which is kind of this like halfway point. Um, unfortunately, because the bike is not working, we will not be able to actually adjust it, but that is crucial for understanding if you do want to go to the gym um, for a class or just if the bike is there uh, on the cardio deck to use by yourself. So we have the seat height, once again, at your hips. The distance of the seat forward and backwards, wanting it to be so that your knee is not like this or like this, but so that it is over your shoelaces. And then finally, we have the handlebar height. This is great because this is based off of your own preference. So the lower it is tends to be the less support you have. So the more um, time you spend cycling, you kind of move your handlebars down lower. But there's a double edge to the sword because the higher you move it, the farther away it gets in this angle, you know? So you kind of have to play around with it and figure out what your preference is. Um, for me, I, this is actually too high. Like that. If you're very tall and you have long arms, um, that might be farther away. So when you're actually in the bike, you always drop in your feet which can prevent your foot from slipping out and you want it to be at the ball of your foot. So the people tend to put it all the way through and then strap it more around the instep and that can also put stress and strain on your foot. Okay, so I'm on the bike. When my leg is all the way down, it has this 10 to 12 degree angle. Um, I don't have to particularly lean out of the saddle, although I'm wearing jeans, so it feels like that. And then the handlebars are in a position where I can comfortably bend my elbows. I don't feel like I have to strain them to reach and lean, but um, they're just comfortably there. So that is setting up the bike. And this is the resistance also. So do I have any volunteers? Always. Clint. Second volunteer to just look on and help him with the the seat that actually, you know, we can't adjust it, so we'll just stick with one person. Okay. Let me set it down. All right. So let's see. What so, would you do first? So I'm going to set this to my hip, correct? Yep. Correct. It's, yeah, so you should be able to just pull it out. There you go. How's that look? Good. Good. So the next thing is I want to get on the bike, right? And then set it, set this part. Right. Let's see if I can do this with boots on. Oh gosh, go back. Got it. I can loosen the foot shots if you'd like, but um, how does that feel in terms of the height? Like, do you feel like you're leaning out of the saddle? Do you feel like your foot, we have this nice, Bend. Bend. 10 to 12 degree. Yeah, 10 to 12. So if you could do a few cycling motions. Do you feel like you have to lean a little bit? I think I'm leaning a little bit forward, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so then how about we raise the handlebars? How high would you say? I'd say, I don't know. Let's check it. Let's try that. All right. And then another big tip is that you want to make sure you tighten the knobs all the way because if you're cycling in a class, uh, your handlebars can definitely fall down if you do not tighten the knobs. <coughs> that feels good. That feels better? Perfect. Mm -hmm. You look great. Now yeah. you can come to my class. Perfect. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for me? Thank you, Clint. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. How did you get into cycling or, or anything like that? What made you want to... Wanna... Well, I... Um, I work for the gym for facilities, so I'm the people that I like to swipe you in. And I uh, went to Group X classes, actually not that regularly, but um, I just thought it would be a great idea to get paid to work out, essentially. And then I realized the depths of that job, being able to like build healthy hokies, kind of the motto, um, spread awareness and benefits to exercise like this. So it's a great job. Anybody else? Okay, What's your well, favorite type of exercise? Oh, I used to row, and that would probably be my favorite because um, 
it's just special, you know, like being on the water in a boat is one thing in itself, but it's amazing. Yeah. Good job. Thank you.